Learn how you can pay off debt, save more money, and build wealth. Sign up today. The Compass Marriage Ministry is excited to present Dynamic Marriage, the nine-week course that will transform your marriage. So what I really enjoyed about the class was it gives you tools to come together as a couple, and so that brought something out in us. And there are simple techniques just about conversation or making eye contact. Simple things like that that brought us closer. Sign up online or in the lobby today. Well, if you haven't found the perfect life group, let me tell you why. Because only you can create the perfect life group. If God's calling you to lead a life group, I have the perfect opportunity for you. August 26th at 10 a.m., we've got a training that will help you become a great life group leader. Now, we've got everything you need there to succeed at doing that. We just need you. And so I want to encourage you, be a part of it. You can find the QR code in the back of your bulletin. Sign up today. We'll see you August 26th. Yeah, welcome, Compass. They only have the good-looking people up on the video. <laughs> so awkward to see yourself on video and then stand like, I should introduce myself next time. Hey, if you're here for the first time, let me just uh, say thank you for coming, and we'd love to get a chance uh, to meet you, hear a little bit of your story. And right after this service, out in the lobby, there's a room called Welcome to Compass. And I'd love to get a chance to say hello and, and meet you a little bit. Um, we do have a gift for you. It's a coffee mug. Uh, and it, you, the only way you can get it is in that Welcome to Compass room. It's not for sale anywhere. It's our gift to you just to say thank you for being our guest today. You get one week of being a guest and then your family. So uh, you'll have to jump right in. Uh, a couple of things as we prepare ushers to receive the offering. Um, first of all, let me just say thank you to all of you who gave for the backpacks, for all of you who served putting those backpacks together. Uh, there were so many of them that this week we're going to have more backpacks coming in to put together because more kids need those school supplies. Uh, all this week, people were delivering backpacks to schools where they're absolutely needed and they got into the right hands. And one of the ways you can find out about that, in, in the back of the bulletin there on that back page, there's a text number and there's a QR code. You can sign up to, to get a text. If you want to come serve, um, sometimes we'll throw a text out last minute like this and say, hey, tomorrow we're putting backpacks together. And you get that text and you know what is what uh, happening. Is, what is the latest thing happening at Compass Church? So uh, Pastor Todd and I uh, had his brother on speakerphone this week. His brother lives about 20 to 30 minutes from where the town burned in Maui. And um, the conversation was, well, can we help any churches there? Are there things that we can do? And, and uh, it quickly turned his brother and said, well, has your church done anything yet? And uh, Todd said, yeah, there's this great organization that we partner with. Um, and we give regularly to called Convoy of Hope, and they're doing stuff. They said, oh, Convoy of Hope, they are all over the island. And so I just want to thank you guys for... I, I want to thank you for your regular giving that allowed us to be prepared before the disaster happened. We were in position to provide help and support. And already I saw some emails going back this morning that uh, Convoy is staging and getting ready to help provide relief in Southern California if needed, and also for the fires up in the Northwest. So thank you guys for your faithfulness. It helps us do stuff like that and uh, just keep giving and doing what God asks you to do. Today is on generosity, but uh, chances are um, it has more to do with what is in your heart than is in your wallet. So let's pray. God, thank you so much that you allow us to experience generosity through us being generous to others. And God, I pray now that as we do that, that we would understand your generosity to us, that you have given us everything. And we thank you for it, God. We ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Oh, he rails a liar with a snow.